All right, in this video, we're going to be going over how to find missing numerators and denominators. This is actually something we worked on at the end of yesterday's Google Meet. So if you were at that Google Meet and you understood missing numerators and denominators and how to identify them, uh, you can go ahead and skip this video and just go on to the IXL skill. Okay. So when you're finding missing numerators and denominators, you're going to have two options. You can multiply or you can divide, and that depends on if you're going from a fraction with larger numbers or smaller numbers. Now, not larger values or smaller values, just the numbers. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say we have two thirds and we need to find the missing numerator for a fraction that has 12 as the denominator okay and that these need to be equivalent so they need to be the same but we are missing the numerator here so what I mean by how to identify whether you're using multiplication or division is you want to look are the numbers in this fraction smaller or larger than the numbers in the fraction over here well in this case they are smaller right so if you're going from a smaller to a larger number you're going to be using multiplication so you want to think and even create an equation that looks like 3 times blank equals 12 what can we multiply by 3 to get to 12 so I brainstorm I think 3 times 4 right 3 times 4 is 12 so I can go ahead and replace that here and this is what we did to the bottom part of these fractions, to the denominators of these fractions. We multiplied times 4. So if you're going to multiply times 4 by the denominators, you also have to multiply the numerators times 4. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite that up here, and we get 2 times 4 is 8. So the missing numerator was 8 here. Now let me show you the other way to solve this problem with division. So let's say that you had... 8 over 12 and it was on this side of the comparison this time and then over here you are missing the denominator but you have your numerator okay so what would you do here well since we're going from larger numbers to smaller numbers we could use division we could set them we could set up an equation that looked like this 8 the numerator here divided by blank equals 2. Well, how many times can you take 2 away from 8? If I count up, I see that I can do it 2, 4, 6, 8, which is 4 times because 4 times 2 is 8, right? So 8 divided by 4 is 2. You can take 2 from 8 4 times. Okay, so I divide by 4 up here, <clears throat> so down here I also need to divide by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is, let's count up our multiples, 4, 8, 12, that would be 3. <clears throat> so again, these would be equal. Okay, so it doesn't matter which fraction is on which side, except you need to you need to figure out if you're going to multiply or divide right so that's the only reason it matters you can flip these around and they're both it's going to be equal both times but you prove it by using different operations so just keep that in mind whenever you're um, working on these kind of problems